Um, first of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for uh, uh, giving me this opportunity to be here today. And uh, um, I would uh, like also to thank them for their high and great um, um, level of communication, actually. Um, um, so today I'm gonna uh, talk about um, um, a randomized control um, uh, uh, trial of um, an eight weeks cardiac rehabilitation home versus um, um, uh, hospital for post um, um, uh, cabbage uh, surgery patient. Um, let me remove this from my screen first of all, yes. Um, Starting with the background, you know, as you may all know that the prevalence rate of uh, chronic heart disease continue to increase toward um, epidemic level, uh, especially in uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia due to continuous exposure to uh, cardiovascular um, risk factor. And it involves younger uh, population. This is the, um, one of the, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, bell um, uh, or strange thing, and estimated about 60% of Saudi Arabian, uh, you know, resident under 25 years of age. Um, I want to share you this um, uh, slide where um, you can see uh, the um, the rate of death uh, from the uh, coronary vascular disease and coronary heart disease. So 26% of total death were attributed to cardiovascular and uh, coronary heart disease is the commonest cause of death for, from cardiovascular uh, around the world and in Saudi Arabia. And um, the percentage of males is higher than the male. And if you look to the percentage of death from coronary heart disease in Saudi Arabia, uh, you can see it um, here compared to a uh, Western country and it's the highest compared to uh, countries here in the Middle East and especially in Gulf um, region. Um, talking about the management of um, uh, coronary heart disease can be effectively with early diagnosis, um, controlling the risk factor, uh, pharmacological um, uh, and um, uh, drug therapy, um, invasive revascularization if the, um, you know, the drug therapy failed. So surgical procedure um, will um, um, have a great um, um, help in that. Uh, in addition to secondary prevention, including, including structured life, lifestyle um, um, counseling. So cabbage surgery is the first choice for patient with severe coronary artery disease and one of the most successful treatment method if the, um, um, the drug therapy failed. Uh, a number of meta-analysis and randomized controlled trials, um, uh, you know, um, uh, recognize the superiority of the cabbage uh, surgery to uh, uh, strategy in, um, in, um, of uh, uh, initial medical therapy for a specific case. So um, if the, uh, um, the drug therapy failed, um, the majority of patients with coronary heart disease will go um, um, and underwent um, um, coronary artery bypass um, uh, surgery. So despite the advantage in cardiac surgery, currently there is no established, you know, uh, cardiac rehabilitation for chronic uh, coronary heart disease patients in the kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia. And um, as we all know, um, there is a lot of um, um, literature talking about the benefit of um, 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 cardiac um, uh, rehabilitation. So it has been proven that cardiac rehabilitation program improved the uh, hemodynamic 
variables, including uh, prediction um, fraction uh, in post cabbage uh, patient. Research has shown the, that cardiac rehabilitation program using aerobic and re, um, resistant training uh, has significant effect on hemodynamic uh, um, responses such as blood pressure, heart rate, and respiration. Uh, this improvement may further explain the reduction in morbidity and mortality recognized after uh, uh, formal coronary um, uh, or cardiac rehabilitation programs. Uh, so cardiac rehabilitation program in uh, Saudi Arabia or uh, Middle East um, um, that available and it's still uh, very limited. Um, um, there's a report by uh, al that um, um, talk about the rule and benefit of uh, cardiac rehabilitation program in managing cardiac patients in Saudi Arabia. And um, they say this is not currently fully understood among, um, you know, the country, uh, especially the cardiac health care providers. This is another study um, um, done um, somewhere in uh, 2014, just to um, aim to see the awareness of the uh, uh, clinician and awareness of the patient on uh, the importance of cardiac rehabilitation for um, a coronary artery bypass patient or for cardiac patients. And actually patient found to be aware of, of, of the importance of that and the clinician are capable. But the problem where um, there is no uh, direct referral um, um, for those patients with cardiac uh, events or it's got a problem for, to the physical therapy department or for cardiac rehabilitation. Uh, some patients are living in remote areas so they still having um, uh, transportation problem uh, to come uh, uh, to be um, doing exercise under uh, supervision. So the study concluded that there is an urgent need to take further practical steps toward improving cardiac rehabilitation in Saudi Arabia. Um, um, more recent study, uh, a review on cardiac rehabilitation delivery around the world. This study um, is trying to show that which country are applying, you know, cardiac rehabilitation and which country they still, uh, you know, there is no uh, cardiac rehabilitation and um, countries who have some, uh, they started. So if you look to the, um, here in the Gulf region, especially this is the Saudi Arabia, um, it's, um, pointed as countries where cardiac rehabilitation is not offered. And this is, um, uh, um, you know, one of the recent study, you know, done um, in 2017. And this is not um, uh, absolutely right. And because there is uh, 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 cardiac rehabilitation and some established centers, but still um, not, um, you know, um, generally, um, no. Uh, so, problem statement and important of uh, of the current study um, will be uh, explained in the in the in the in the coming slide. And uh, before talking about that, um, uh, I want just to talk about the um, the organization where I, I did this study. It's King Faisal Specialist Hospital Research Center. And so the Arabian Riyadh is one of the largest center currently performing open heart surgery. Uh, the center performing uh, all type of open heart surgeries with average of more than uh, 15 um, um, hundred or uh, uh, I'm sorry about that, like um, uh, 50, um, yeah, 1,050 hundred uh, surgery per year and a total of um, almost 500 uh, post coverage uh, surgery uh, per year in the hospital. In addition to 
different type of surgery like uh, heart transplant, lung transplant, and other, you know, organ transplant surgeries. Um, all post cavity surgery patients in the in the in the in, in King Faisal Special Hospital or around the kingdom um, usually will have only phase one cardiac rehabilitation. which is only the hospitalization period when they are in the hospital. When they spend these five days, uh, they start to do the exercise. They start to ambulate. When they go home, that's it. There is no further um, uh, follow up for that. For um, other um, cases and only home instruction were given to uh, those discharge uh, patients. Uh, therefore, hospital readmission is um, uh, almost about 30 to 40 patients. Those, those patients, when they do the cabbage surgery, they will go home and 30% of them, they will come back with some um, sort of complications. Um, as we know, studies have, uh, you know, uh, talk about home exercise program comparing to uh, hospital, um, ho home and hospital uh, um, comparison. Um, home exercise is where um, the, the patient, after the surgery, they will give him um, certain instruction and they will follow up with him either by um, um, internet or by uh, giving a call or by um, a, a, a family conference, or uh, when the patient has to uh, come to the hospital for um, uh, uh, a structured uh, rehabilitation program. And most of this study uh, say that home cardiac rehabilitation is as effective as hospital cardiac rehabilitation. So uh, nowadays uh, people are thinking why we should bring a patient to the hospital, especially now with this um, 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 epidemic crisis. So this kind of um, uh, programs will help in this epidemic uh, crisis. However, the majority of these study were concluded, uh, um, uh, conducted in the Western country and uh, very limited evidence related to um, 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 chronic heart disease in the um, you know, Gulf area, including uh, Saudi Arabia. So up to date, no profession is uh, in place for uh, cardiac rehabilitation program for those um, patients you know, after they uh, go home. Why this study is important because due to um, lack of evidence in the possible benefit of home versus hospital cardiac rehabilitation for post um, um, cabbage patient in um, um, Saudi Arabia um, among those patients uh, or among those um, 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 citizen, there was a need for a randomized control trial to evaluate and add to the knowledge on important of cardiac rehabilitation uh, on this population to provide some further evidence. So the main of uh, this study to evaluate the effectiveness of, effectiveness of home-based cardiac rehabilitation compared to uh, um, a hospital um, using um, a different type of um, exercise for uh, post cabbage surgery patient. And this study, um, it's a randomized controlled trial, three arms, single blind, uh, a total of 122 uh, participants. Um, all of them uh, underwent cabbage surgery. Only uh, 72 uh, participants were able to complete uh, the post um, uh, randomized and were assigned to one of the three groups. So we have three group, hospital group and home group. And we have a control group where uh, this control group is as it is right now. Like when patient um, 
finish their, uh, after they finish the first phase when they are in the hospital and they go home, they only given um, uh, an instruction and they only come for um, follow up with a physician. So there is no uh, exercise program for them. So here we compare the hospital group where uh, we have a hospital group to come and there is a certain program will be done for them. Home program, they will do the same instruction, um, home exercise program, and the control will not do anything, only we will measure them in uh, free uh, intervals where we uh, measure them in the beginning, then after eight weeks of exercise program, and then uh, like after 12 weeks. Uh, so all participants were uh, recruited from King Faisal Special Hospital and Research Center um, and the um, Cardiac Center. Uh, they all diagnosed with chronic, chronic heart disease and underwent cabbage surgery uh, with the same uh, uh, maneuver. The outcome measure were the uh, functional capacity, uh, physiological um, uh, um, components, and uh, anxiety and depression, in addition to um, quality of life measures. Um, what makes this study a little bit um, um, unique, um, usually when they give an ex uh, exercise prescription to uh, a patient, they will give the same exercise prescription to, um, to different type of patient. But what the difference here in this study, we try to have a personalized target zone. We know when this patient um, uh, will be fatigue when we uh, start the exercise with, with this patient. So we uh, try to identify the personalized target zone when this patient will start to get fatigue. So we start our exercise program after knowing the, the target zone of this um, uh, uh, fatigue level of this patient. So we start the uh, warming up uh, for every single patient. Uh, upon his personalized target zone of um, um, exertion. So every patient who has to know his uh, preserved uh, exertion rate and using the, um, the polar watch, uh, um, we can know the target heart rate of this patient and when this patient will be fatigued. Then from that point, we will start um, doing the warm, uh, doing the warm up then we'll start the exercise prescription. Um, uh, uh, before we talk about the, um, the outcome measure, and one of the outcome measure is the shuttle walk test to give us the, um, um, the function. So the, um, the shuttle walk test is a, a kind of a um, you know, um, test where a patient has to walk between two um, cones and there is a, a sound peep and he has to walk from one cone to other and catch the peep and every time the time between the uh, for each peep will um, go down uh, until we find out that this patient cannot catch uh, the other cone on the peep and we know that the patient now is fatigued and cannot um, um, continue doing the uh, the exercise, and this is one of the evidence based uh, for the cardiac patient uh, for measuring the functional capacity. Uh, so the intervention, we, as I mentioned before, we have um, uh, three groups, uh, home and um, hospital, and the uh, uh, control groups. I'm gonna talk about the, like the hospital group intervention. So uh, first of all, uh, the, for the home, for the hospital group, we see them three times per week for eight weeks. Uh, they start with 15 minutes warm up, as I mentioned, to reach to their um, um, target level of exertion. Then um, um, at 20 minutes of um, aerobic exercise uh, will be done for uh, the, uh, uh, the patient and we will end by 10 minutes of cool down and the vital signs, uh, Borg scale, uh, um, rate of um, preserved exertion 
will be taken um, uh, before and after. The hospital, um, the hospital group also, uh, I mean the home group, also they will do the same and we will monitor them uh, uh, by giving them like um, 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 uh, a sheet to fill and we show them the exercise program they have to do. It's um, um, starting by the warm up exercise um, and it's very like simple starting with um, stretching of the like calf uh, and um, uh, big muscles then stepping, then marching in a place. And this is, will be done for um, uh, 10 minutes warm up. And also we use it for a uh, um, uh, cool down. And the aerobic exercise program will be done in uh, like uh, 10 spots. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 spots. And each spot, uh, the patient will spend around um, two minutes to do the exercise program. And at each uh, station, there is um, uh, a type of exercise where the patient will do. Uh, usually start with cardiovascular exercise, then with um, um, aerobic um, um, exercise. So um, we have 10 type of exercise where the patient has to, to do. And um, um, this will be done for the um, home group and for the hospital group, the same. The, the, the only difference that because the hospital group will be here and they will um, talk about uh, their problem and we can motivate them. The home group, we need to call them and we give them a weekly call uh, to take their, uh, to motiv them, motivate them and to take their um, um, feedback or any um, queries about their exercise program. Um, this is the data sheet. We'll give it to the uh, patient and should be um, filled by the patient in a, a weekly basis. And the patient has to um, measure his heart rate uh, before and after. And he has to uh, measure the, um, uh, like um, check if he did the Cool, um, the warm up and the cool down. Then uh, uh, for each station, if he did it, he should check on that um, data sheet. And at the end of eight weeks, we collect all this um, um, data and um, uh, we will um, um, measure their uh, uh, function capacity. Uh, we will measure their, uh, you know, um, We'll take all the outcome measures after the uh, the eight weeks. Uh, only for the uh, control group, they will not have intervention, as I mentioned, as soon as they leave the hospital. Um, the only we only giving them uh, an instruction booklet which talk about um, how to uh, take care of their wound, um, instruction about um, walking uh, three times per week. Um, and that's it, but there is no phone call and no follow up with them until they came back after eight weeks and we take their outcome measures. Um, so the result, what do we find in the uh, uh, shuttle walk test? Now we take the, uh, the um, at the baseline uh, in the, you know, uh, the day of uh, discharge, when they discharge, before they discharge from the hospital, we measure their um, um, incremental shuttle walk test uh, for the uh, three groups. And as you see here, they are almost, um, um, almost the same. And after eight weeks, we measure that again. And as you see here, that the hospital group and the home group are almost the same, but the control group, they still plateau. There is some little improvement, maybe because of the pain relief and this, but surprisingly what we find after 12 weeks that the, and uh, to this level, most of the 
studies has been done in Western country. And most of the studies has been done before this study, they stop here. That's why they mentioned that um, home base is like hospital base, especially in the outcome measure. So the difference in this study, we continue with them for another 12 weeks without any intervention. Just when they came after uh, 12 weeks to uh, follow up with their physician, we take them again and we measure all the uh, outcome measures. And surprisingly, we find that the home group continue to increase and the hospital group slightly decreased, but the control group uh, stayed plateau. That means the hospital group even showed better improvement with the time. So, um, Sorry for that. So um, as I mentioned before, most of these studies done stopped here and they mentioned that um, hospital group is as effective as um, home group, but we were able to prove that the hospital group are better in the long run. And that could be because um, you know, most of the hospital individual, uh, I mean the home-based uh, group, they take it as a habit and they use to continue uh, doing their exercise program because when we uh, stop uh, here, uh, following up with them at eight weeks, uh, we stop even now with the home group giving them the calls, we stop uh, following them up, but um, the hospital, uh, as soon as they finish, maybe they stop coming to the hospital. That's why their functional capacity dropped down. But the home group, they took it as a habit. And that's why it, their functional level increased. And we found that uh, on most of the outcome measures, like the uh, hospital in anxiety and depression, so their in anxiety. Uh, the home base showed even less level of anxiety along um, um, the road. Uh, and the hospital um, in the beginning were having higher um, in anxiety because they are in the hospital, always asking about their problems. So they have um, a lower uh, um, uh, grade than the home, but in the long run, they plateaued. However, the hospital, the, the home group in the red, the home in the red, along the, um, the road, they have more um, decrease in their anxiety and also um, um, lower or almost the same in their depression uh, level. Um, and it was the same uh, in physical component uh, summary and mental component summary when we Major, um, we used the um, um, SF36, um, uh, which, um, which is a questionnaire to measure the uh, quality of life. So also we find that um, uh, in the long run that the, um, the, the, the home group and the hospital group were almost the same in uh, the um, uh, physical uh, component summary and in um, mental component summary. The SF36 uh, questionnaire, I don't know if uh, um, um, uh, you are aware of it, is um, a kind of um, 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 36 questionnaire uh, divided to eight um, 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 categories talking about um, physical, mental, uh, pain, um, different type of uh, level. And at the end, uh, there is a way of calculating this to give um, either the mental component uh, summary or the physical component summary. So in conclusion, um, I can say that the result of the present study confirmed the e effective of cardiac rehabilitation on coronary heart disease patient post cabbage surgery. And that could be applied on Saudi population 
because this is the first study done in the, in the kingdom uh, to compare this. And um, by taking the, 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 you know, um, the study further, because most of the studies, as I told you, stopped at eight weeks and we follow the, um, the patient up to uh, 12 weeks and we find up that um, the home even became better. That will prove that the home exercise program um, will give better result uh, with those uh, population. So home group has similar level of improvement in physical function and um, um, an anxiety and depression. And um, um, we can say in physical and mental um, uh, component, but in the long run, we had the home uh, exercise program for uh, those population has better outcome. And the results are comparable to the, those uh, uh, done before in Western country. And as I mentioned, we proved that the home is even better than the, um, the hospital um, uh, uh, group. Thank you very much uh, for listening. And I hope I didn't um, um, take a long time. Uh, thank you again, and I'm ready to take um, any questions. Thank, thank you, Dr. Takroni. Sure. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for your presentation and interesting, wonderful outcome at the 12 weeks for the home therapy. I'd like to open the uh, well virtual floor up to questions now. Anyone who would like to ask a question, please. Great. 